Hey guys, welcome one more time again to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in telescopes and accessories. What am I talking about today? Okay, so for you refractor lovers or for you new people that want to know, we're going to be talking about what is chromatic aberration, what is purple fringing, what is false color in refractors, why should we care or why should we know about it? Why should we want to know about it? Okay, first, so chromatic aberration, false color, fringing, there's a few words for it, it means the same thing. Basically, back in the old days, so we're talking very long time ago, what they used to do is they used to make refractors very, very long. And I'm talking about, when we think of long these days, we're thinking of like F10, F12, maybe F15 sometimes. You really almost never, never hear of anything more. So that's what we consider long. But I'm talking about F30, F40, and F50, okay? So back in the old days, not a, not a lot of people know, but they used to have what's called a singlet. A single lens and with a single lens you gotta go f30 f40 f50 they're huge um, to reduce that false color some of you might say who cares if there's false color now you always hear that in forums and all the other things is that um, like when you get an acromat, let's say, as like if it's a short tube acromat, or even a medium size acromat, uh, doublet acromat, uh, they always say like it has false color, like a lot of false color on the planet, sun, moon, and the brighter stars. But who? Some some of you might think, who cares if it has a little bit of false color? You, there's another more critical thing that you don't hear of, and I only hear it a couple times in the forums, or very few people ever mention this when you talk about chromatic aberration, uh, fringing, or false color, and it is. Now look at this chart here, or maybe it's on this picture here. What it's showing you is that when a light passes through a prism or a lens or that type of thing, in an acromat doublet, all the light does not come to the same point. You understand? So that was is creating the false color, the chromatic aberration fringing. Now, what that also does, so normally it has a purple halo around the outside. Some of you might think, okay, not a big deal. It has a little purple. It's not like it's changing the planet purple, like a filter will do. It's just changing a rim. It has like a purplish, bluish hue. So what, some of you might say. Again, what most people don't tell you is that because all the three lights, uh, only two out of the three lights are coming to focus in one plane and the third isn't, right? And that's why if you make it really long, you know, F15, F20, F30, whatever, 40, then that light cone slowly merges and then they become uh, to the same focal point. But when it doesn't reach the same focal point, besides the color fringing, it's doing one more critical thing that you don't know, or maybe a lot of you don't know, and that it's reducing the contrast and image quality. So take that into consideration too. And that's why uh, if all three colors come to the same point, it's reducing that false color, and that fake color, that purple color, but it's also making the image a little bit more crisp, more contrast, and more clear. And that's why when you have um, more expensive doublets with the ED51, the ED53, the triplet with 51, the triplet with 53, and so on and so on, when you make the better glass and they make that light come to one point, it is reducing that color or eliminating it completely, but it's also cleaning up the image uh, and contrast. So you're getting a much natural color and a much uh, crisp, clean image. Um, so you don't, I don't always hear people say that. They only mention the color, but not that it actually gets more crisper and crisper, uh, cleaner that image when that light all merge into one. And that's why these companies, it becomes more and more expensive as you try to get the, the, that color to correct with doublets or triplets and so on and so on. So anyway, uh, take a look at Jupiter. Now, this is a very 
picture of Jupiter with a lot of false color, a lot of chromatic aberration. You can see it's also very fuzzy too. Now, this is something that you might get like if you push the power to 200, 250 power on a refractor that's like F4 and F5. That's the kind of image you get. Most people say, whoa, that's pretty terrible now, right? Now, let's look uh, at a, a couple more um, items here. Look at these two windows here. You will see one is the bottom is nice and clear, like how a ED uh, or a triplet might be, an apochromatic, and then you have one that uh, default with false color. It's not as clean and crisp, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the, the next one, which is a picture of trees. The one on the left you can see has the false uh, color on the one side, and the other half, it, there is no uh, false color, so it's just a bit more cleaner. And it's nice not to see the trunk with a, a purple like hue on it, you right? Okay, last, let's look at these balconies. Again, you can see that the one balcony is at the very top. The white is just more clear. You can see each individual like window and uh, the other one is more blurry. So anyway, so that's what you get when you make that refractor and an acromat very long. I mean, these days, um, I mean, if you use an acromat, like an 80 millimeter F5, if you use that, and I've showed that to you guys before, uh, if you use that for deep sky stuff, it's gonna be fine because it's those objects are not bright at all. So you're not gonna notice the false color. It's just, you shouldn't use those short ones on the planets. If you wanna see the planets in good detail, and let's say instead of getting an 80 millimeter F5, you gotta go at least an 80 millimeter F10, F11 or F12, and then the image will be much more cleaner and crisp. However, saying that, if you even go better, like an 80 millimeter ED, even if it's 51, the image again will be less color, a false color, and it'll be a bit more sharper. And again and again, so on. So if you get better glass, better glass, and then triplets, it's correcting that false color, bringing all three wavelengths to the same point, and then it's, it's gonna be more clear, more clear. So, in the next video, what I'm gonna do for you guys is I am going to do, I'm gonna show you guys from an acromat, what is the next level better, then the next level better lens, and then the next and so on. But I just wanna make a disclaimer, there's no way, shape, or form that I, or anybody can tell you this glass is always gonna be 100% better than the next things. It, it, it's a general rule that if you use this glass over that one, the image will be better and then better and better and better. But it depends on the manufacturer, how they make it, how they polish it, uh, that will make the image better and better. And of course the cost is gonna go up and up. So the next video will be about that since we're talking about refractors with a lot of false color and what is chromatic aberration or fringing and how, why we get that and how we can correct it. Uh, the next video will be about that, which one becomes better and better. Of course, price goes up and up, but I just thought I'd mention, not a lot of people know that the image actually gets cleaner, gets tighter, gets more better and better as that color gets corrected. All they say is, you know, about the false color not being there, but they never mention that it becomes more contrast and cleaner. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked that, um, this video. Hopefully to a lot of you guys, uh, you, you maybe learned uh, one or two things that you didn't know. And this is why sometimes if you want to watch the planets, get a long version acromat, if that's what you could afford. If you're going for an acromat, get a long one, okay? And that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are uh, know anybody that is thinking of getting into astronomy, send them a couple of my links. If you guys are on the forums, and you know anybody that's asking a question, I have a video, if you could be so nice and uh, share my link with them, that would be awesome. Why not you? Why not me? Cheers.